The redesigned Toyota Tacoma will benefit from the new Tundra Nightmare. <music> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, the redesigned Toyota Tacoma will benefit from the new Tundra nightmare. What's happening right now with the new Tundra? Real quick, if you haven't heard, there are some issues with the redesigned 2022 Tundra. They're having turbo problems, wastegate problems, check engine lights, who knows what else is lurking out there with the new Tundra. But this bodes well for us with the upcoming redesigned Toyota Tacoma. Because you know, a lot of the features, a lot of the systems that are in the new Tundra are going to be in the redesigned Tacoma. So the way I look at this, the problems that they're having selfishly with the new Toyota Tundra is a good thing because I love the Toyota Tacoma and I can't wait for the redesign. I'm very curious to see what they're gonna do with it. And hey, you know, if I don't like it, I already have a Tundra. It's not that, or a Tacoma rather. It's not that old. I'll just hold on to it. So what they're, they're having problems with, as I mentioned, all these systems and things are gonna be in the new Tacoma. You can bet we're gonna have a Turbo 4 and I'm not looking forward to that and also a hybrid down the road and probably an all electric in the next three or four years, something like that. But meantime, Toyota seems to be blazing the trail with the new Tundra and they're having problems doing it. I really do think this is turning into a nightmare for them when it comes to the redesigned Tundra. But it's a good testing ground for when they do actually put together and come out with the new Tacoma. All these systems that they've put in the Tundra are now out there in the real world. People are utilizing them. People are running these trucks and unfortunately, they are having problems with them. Now, supposedly the design period for Toyota with new models is three years. Now, we can make that really six years for the Tacoma since they chose to redesign the Tundra first. Now, maybe, just maybe, Toyota was uh, thinking a little bit ahead when they decided to redesign the Tundra first. Maybe they realize that they, they have the number one in the Tacoma and they probably shouldn't jump into redesigning it first. And conveniently, since they have the Tundra, which doesn't have nearly the market share of the Tacoma, they could go ahead and use that as the test dummy. Maybe they're a little bit more forward thinking or forward thinking than we give Toyota credit for. Maybe the, the idea all along was to go ahead, bring out the new Tundra, you know, stay in the market, put it out there in the world and then deal with any issues they have with it so that when they come out with the redesigned Tacoma, Everything is worked out and it will be a very reliable, perfectly functioning truck. I hope that's what they're thinking. I mean, that's not good news for the Tundra people, right? I mean, I have had Tundras. I've had three Tundras, four Tundras, however many. I do like the Tundra, but my heart lies with the Toyota Tacoma. So if you have to test anything out, well, let's test it out on a different vehicle so that when it comes to putting out the new Tacoma, You've got everything perfected. Now, I mentioned that there's gonna be a turbo in the Tacoma. I think that's a given. I think that's the way everybody's going these days, it seems, on towards the turbo hybrid and then ultimately the electric. So Toyota has jumped in, if you will, with the turbo in their new Tundra. And it's not working out so well. The truck's only been out for, what, a couple of months now, something like that. And they're having problems with it. They're having turbo problems, as I mentioned, check engine lights, and the fix for some of these problems they're having is to pull the frame. You have to take the truck off the frame to fix some of these things. Now, again, selfishly, I'm glad that 
they're getting all this out of the way before they get to my Tacoma. The last thing I would want to do is buy a brand new Tacoma and have the service person tell me that they got to rip the frame off so that they can fix something because they can't get to it any other way. What a nightmare that is for Toyota. But it's a good thing for us Tacoma owners. Now, I do think they'll get all this sorted out with the Tundra eventually. It might take a year or two, who knows? Again, not good news for the Tundra owners, but for us Tacoma lovers, it's kind of a good way to go, I think. I mean, if you can test out these new technologies on a lower selling truck, still make some money. I mean, they are selling these trucks, right? It's gonna cost them a, an arm and a leg probably to fix them, some of these problems that are showing up. But we're not gonna have to deal with that once the redesigned Tacoma comes out. Now, the problem with this is, I think, so far from what I've heard, the new Tacoma is supposed to come out somewhere in 2023, 2024, maybe 2025 if you really stretch it. But the problem is, is if there are major enough problems with the Tundra, it's gonna lengthen the release date of the new Tacoma because they're not gonna jump in with their number one selling mid-sized truck when they know there are problems with the systems that they're gonna use in another truck that they're already having. So that's the biggest issue that I can see. We'll probably have to wait a little bit longer if they don't resolve these problems quickly, but that's not such a bad thing. It means that we'll have the current generation the Gen 3 Tacoma around for a little bit longer, which is an awesome truck. And I much prefer it that way because I would rather they perfect these systems before they throw them into the next generation, the fourth generation Toyota Tacoma. It is a bit of a luxury for Toyota, I guess, to be able to have a different truck to test all these things in before they throw it into their cash cow the Toyota Tacoma. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. There is a silver lining for us Toyota Tacoma owners to the problems that they're having with the Toyota Tundra. It will give Toyota an opportunity to perfect these things before they actually throw them into our Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is it a good thing, all things considered, that Toyota decided to redesign the Tundra first to work out all these bugs before they put it in our Tacoma? I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive FST, all about full-size trucks, and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.